To my rideshare friends, I'm down at the studios, drove an actress down here and getting paid for a great day. And while I'm down here, I want to make a quick video for you. Um, and that is, you know, selecting the right car, selecting the right vehicle, the right category at the right price. I always say whatever your budget allows, don't extend yourself, whatever your credit allows, you know, don't don't go beyond your means. You can always work for six to 12 months in a category, save up enough money, buy a bigger vehicle, enter a higher category, earn more and work your way up the ladder, right? But But don't get yourself into a hole where you just completely stretch your finances and you set up a whole cannonball of other issues, financial issues, right? Choose the car and the category that you can afford. Right, so let's say you have a vehicle, you know, which is a 2007 car, you know, it's maybe 11 years old, it'll still fit into a category, probably Uber X. You know, drive it as long as you can, do your oil changes, put save up money, and then who knows, you know, you might get a quick three, four, five thousand dollars in a few months, set it aside if you're a good saver. And then you go out and buy your next car. Now, you can go to a dealership. If you do go to a dealership, please hit me up first. I get phenomenal deals at Keys of a Nice. Uh, the owner is my client, my private client. Um, I'll gladly refer you to Toyota or Chevrolet, wherever you wish to go, right? Uh, so, Keys of a Nice is a great way to, if you feel comfortable with your credit, um, I wouldn't necessarily lease, I would buy. And you can look at used vehicles or Gallup and Ford, wherever it may be. You can use at, you can look at used vehicles. Now, you can also go private window shopping. You can go to Craigslist. You can go through multiple websites. But again, make sure you know what you're getting yourself into. Maybe have a mechanic check over the car. You may have the money cash to buy the car. Make an offer. And you got yourself a rideshare vehicle. Or, like I do... I go to dealership auctions and public auctions. Now, public auctions, just like it says, the public can come. Uh, you know, some of the cars can be duds. Right? Usually, a dealer auctions, you're getting a way uh, superior vehicle that's handed in. Uh, maybe the, the dealership repossessed it. It goes to the auction, so you get a drivable, good driving car. With, with, with public auction... Um, I truly believe I know how to buy, but still, I'm, I'm, I'm not the master out of every 10 cars, you know, one or two, I'm going to end up putting quite a bit of money into it because it may need a whole lot of repairs that you didn't see, right? Or underneath the car and the engine, you don't know, right? So it's a little bit of a risk attached to that, but you'll get phenomenal deals. I mean, I'm talking vehicles from 600 to $1,500, right? It's ridiculous. So, um... If you need more information on this, if, if you're stuck, you don't quite know which car to go with, which direction, you know, what should I buy, let's, let's talk about your current situation, let's see what you can afford, and let's make some really good decisions for you together. I'd ask you that you uh, use my referral code with Uber and Lyft, and I'll gladly spend and invest my time and hours into you. Have a great day. From the Rideshare Professor, look forward to your call.